good morning, afternoon and evening, my beloved shisha lovers. And today we are going to speak about one of the most uh, classic and basic, um, <laughs> let's say, tobacco flavor, shisha flavor, it's double apple. Why I decided to speak about it? Basically, uh, the reason is that everyone tried it, but I suppose most of you haven't tried it in mixes, you just don't really know how to use it, uh, not like in a uh, solo, solo bowl, <laughs> let's say like this. So, uh, starting speaking about the double apple, uh, let's find out what double apples we have on the market. Basically, nearly every shisha hookah company made their own double apple. The most classic ones are Alfacher double apple and Nahla double apple. If you speak about the Alfacher double apple, uh, I could say that it is very sweet and really anise flavor. Uh, I would use word anise, it's like a spice uh, which is used in uh, Indian cuisine and other cuisines. Uh, but uh, if you're speaking about the double apple, that's what usually people uh, feel there. It's uh, anise flavor and a lot of sweetness. You don't really feel the apple itself there. Because if you try like a uh, like famous apple from Nahla, uh, ice apple from Nahla, famous apple from Blackburn, or uh, apple drops from uh, Duff or any other kind of apple, you would feel the apple itself like in the juice, like in any, anywhere else. But if you're speaking about the double apple, it's mostly anise flavor. So, in my opinion, double apple is a good variation of the spice itself. So, it's really sweet, sweet anise. So, coming back to Alfa here, uh, in my opinion, yes, it's classic double apple, but not my favorite. Now, the reason uh, is pretty simple. It's too sweet. So, basically, uh, if you will smoke it, you will feel that there is too much flavor too much of this anise flavor in your mouth uh, while you smoking your shisha. Uh, so I wouldn't really suggest you to choose exactly this one. Uh, if you're comparing the Nachlas double apple, uh, which is not so sweet, it's more balanced uh, and it's not so bright flavor there, I would recommend this one if you're speaking, from, from, if you're speaking about the classic double apples. However, uh, there are a lot of other brands nowadays, so we can choose one of them. <laughs> uh, my favorite double apple is from Chabaco. Uh, you've already seen the video about it, it's over here. It's a Russian tea brand. Uh, basically, it's uh, hookah mixes based on the tea itself. Uh, so, mm -hmm, double apple from them. Uh, is the most balanced one. So you have enough sweetness, you have enough anise flavor, and even you can find some kind of apple there, like a small notes of it. So I would really suggest you to try this one. For sure, there are a lot of double apples from other companies. For example, Asman uh, has also double apple, which is like very, very sweet. If you go to Arabic market, nearly every brand has uh, double apple. But uh, my top three, I would say it's Chabaco, Nahla and Alfahir. That's my three favorite double apples. Uh, so, I promised you to tell more how to use it. Uh, how I remember from the video about desserts, the link somewhere here, we are going deep inside of uh, something that we want to recreate in hookah. If it's speaking about something that don't really exist in real life, uh, we can go inside of this uh, flavor itself. What we have there, we have some kind of uh, mm, sweetness, the really bright sweetness, and really anise flavor. So basically, double apple is a combination of these two. So let's think how can we use both of them. If we speak about the sweetness, uh, it could be used nearly in any kind of mixes. So you just add berries, you add double, you use the sweetness. It's okay, but we shouldn't forget that we, there is a uh, there is also a bright flavor of anise there, so it's a spice. If you're speaking about spices, how can we use it? We can use it in the desserts, we can use it in tea, we can use it nearly everywhere. The most important thing is to recreate the combination. 
Let's start from the simple one. Uh, where can we meet the anise flavor in real life? Uh, the two easy answers is will be Sambuca and Absent. That's two a whole drinks. So we can go, we can start from here. So where are we meeting uh, this anise flavor in real life? Um, the two simple examples uh, would be Sambuca and Absent. Basically, to create these alcohol drinks, you can just uh, take double apple and take any kind of alcohol flavor. So it could be a whiskey from Cobra, which has a really strong alcohol flavor itself, and also the whiskey from Bonch, or maybe rum from uh, Severny, but in this case, or rum from other company. But in case of rum, it will be too sweet. Also, you can try to take something from Giant, they have like Bourbon or some kind of this, something like this, uh, it's also could be an option. So we need a strong alcohol flavor and we need double apple. Mix it together and we're getting something like Absent or Sambuca. Afterwards, we are going deeper, where we can see the Absent and Sambuca used. Uh, they are mostly used in kind of cocktails, but if you go kind of back, uh, we know that absent. how to drink the absent right way. The right way to drink absent is uh, basically to have like less than one shot and put a lot of water, sugar in it, uh, so you would not have so strong anise flavor, there would be a little bit kind of mm -hmm, maybe like a sour flavor, yeah. Mm, so that's the thing that you're going to which we're going to make. So first we're going how to drink the basic cocktail. Uh, so we have a double apple, we added some punch, so we have kind of absent, but we need to make it more watery. To make it more watery, we can use basically ice. Uh, we could use uh, no aroma white from Satir because it doesn't really have a flavor. So it just will take the aromas from other mm, shisha blends or shisha mixes, which we are using them, which we are using there. Also, we could add some kind of mint. So that's the first option. It's uh, white from satir, double apple and whiskey. But here you will feel the double apple the strong way because we are creating the absent, which is uh, a drink with a strong anise flavor. What else uh, we could do from it? Uh, first, we're doing really simple things. So we'll go to the cocktails. Uh, speaking about cocktails uh, with absent, uh, I don't really know a lot but I could create some kind of hot cocktails, uh, for example, like a Glintvein, uh, we can use double apple there, or some kind of Grox. Uh, in these two type of cocktails, we could use double apple as spice. So we could add uh, cinnamon, we could add club, uh, we could add um, <laughs> wine, or something like this. So we are creating uh, some hot alcohol cocktails. Uh, my, for example, uh, we'll take like fifty percent uh, mulled wine. No, 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 not fifty. Let's say thirty percent mulled wine from Spectrum. Uh, Twenty percent white 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 wine from Chivaco. It's already fifty percent. Uh, Ten percent uh, double apple. Ten percent whiskey. Uh, and 10% uh, like cinnamon, 10% clove. So that's what we are going to do. We are just taking the alcohol part and we're taking the spices. And maybe also we can add to the mood wine like an orange. Uh, in this uh, percentage which we left, we could add apple, we could add any kind of basically of your favorite fruits or berries. So that's uh, percentage which I saved uh, for them. Uh, but however, <laughs> always you can see the proportion somewhere here. Uh, so that's my second example, how can we use uh, double apple. So we're using it as spice in alcohol mixes. Uh, let's go in a different way. Let's go to tea. Again, we need some spices. So again, we can use uh, double apple. We could use, again, how I told you, cinnamon cloth, basic spices. Uh, maybe add uh, nutmeg, uh, you can just use a real nutmeg, and, but uh, don't forget if you're using like a real spices, you need to mix it well with your blends. And uh, again, we're creating the spice mix and we're also creating the tea mix. Uh, I would really suggest to use some kind of uh, 
black tea here. Uh, the black one would be a perfect uh, combination with spices and maybe with some kind of vanilla to make some kind of Mumbai tea. Or the second option would be creating um, herbal tea. Uh, it's also an option here. Uh, in this case, you will need the chibrets. I would write the English name of it here because I don't really uh, remember it now. Uh, this is the second option. How can we use uh, double apple in tea? Uh, where else can we use it? Uh, I wouldn't really recommend to use it just with some uh, uh, tropical flavors. It's not the best options for, best option for me. Also, you can use it with the coffee. So basically, coffee and tea are kind of brothers in, in the case of shisha. Mm, because in both cases, you will need a bigger part of tea or coffee and small part of the spices. That's also could be an option. Uh, for sure, you can make the uh, accent on double apple itself and just add some other flavors. For example, we can take um, Chewbacca's double apple, mm, add a little bit of uh, lemon. Uh, I would suggest to use like a really sour, sour, lemon, sour le lemon, for example, from Han Burley or from um, Jad. They also have a pretty good lemon. Or maybe we can just use the citrus mix from uh, Spectrum. Yes, uh, also I would recommend to add here some kind of berries, uh, but the berries not really traditional ones, not like a strawberry, uh, not really like a cherry, but cherry also could work here, but we need to find, you know, like a little bit, not a juice cherry, but not a dessert cherry, I mean maracina. Uh, we need to find something like, um, you know, in the cherries there is like this thing, this would be name of this. This would be somewhere here, uh, so you would understand what I mean. Uh, so we need something like this, a cherry like this, for example, from um, cherry soda from Nash could work here, or cherry from Element also could work here. Oh, or cherry from Sapphire Crown. That's also a great option. Uh, we using cherry, we use double apple, lemon, and that would be the combination which is uh, based on double apple and some notes which are just uh, making double apple more interesting. Also, we can add some kind of mm, <laughs> vanilla here and it will give our mixes more dessert flavors. So basically, again, think where you would meet uh, the anise in real life. And basically that's where you start. So you're starting from one small point and going deeper and deeper and deeper. That's uh, basically well, some ways how you can use double apple in uh, different directions, not only to, to smoke it by itself. It was your beloved Shisha, uh, shisha, shisha Donut. <laughs> it was your beloved uh, hookah blogger and Shisha blogger uh, Arsene aka Hookah Donut. Have a nice day, write in the comments, do you like double apple or not?